Continuing this week with movies you can watch from home, I'm taking a break from Netflix and heading over to Amazon Prime for Blow the Man Down. And I'm not going to lie, this movie got a little bit overhyped for me. I think there are certain considerations we should probably take into account right now. Of course, the limits on new content coming out there. So I think things are getting a little bit of a boost, but also like you really want to, you, you want to be taken away and you want to be distracted by what you're watching, right? Like you want this to really engross you. And I feel like blow the man down comes so close to it. But for me, I was still like, I was waiting for it to be better than it was. And there are still good moments in it. It's a, uh, it's a, kind of noir crime small town story thing i had heard it compared to fargo and i was like that is a very i'm assuming fargo the movie i haven't actually seen fargo the miniseries which probably should be on my to-do list for this quarantine but that's a pretty ambitious comparison to compare to fargo i don't think it's quite there and i can certainly appreciate that it has a really strong female cast i appreciate that the protagonists were women that they had agency um you know this passes the bechdel test Almost with fly- no, I think it passes the Bechdel test with flying colors. You've got Morgan Saylor and Sophie Lowe as two sisters in a small main town, and this isn't really spoilers, but their mother has just passed away, uh, and that's kind of where we pick up with you know their woes and and you know some financial troubles, and then there's this whole subplot, subterfuge, all this crazy stuff that seems really, really ridiculous to be taking place in a small town. But what do I know? I live you know, in a very large city. So maybe this is really what goes on in Maine constantly. Supporting cast, you've also got June Squibb. You've got Ivan Moss Bachrach, whose name I just butchered. And I was like, where do I know this guy from? Oh, he's the, and for those who have seen HBO's Girls, um, the, the more polite way to describe him, I was like, oh, he's Marnie's husband. But there's a spe- specific thing from that show that he is known for that I was like, oh, that's what he is. Anyway, this is a tangent. You've also got Gail Rankin from Glow, who I love. And then finally, you have character actress Margot Martindale, who I love. Like, I love Margot Martindale. Really, this is Margot Martindale's movie at the end of it. Like, they try and make it about the sisters, but I feel like they were like, oh my god, we got Margot Martindale. What do we do with this? The problem is that sometimes Margot Martindale sounds like she's in Maine, and sometimes she sounds like she's in London. And I'm not really sure what precipitates this change and she's an amazing actress so i I don't know i don't know if she just phoned it in and also um i have to take another moment and tangent and say uh if you have not seen bojack horseman which is on netflix i highly recommend it and you'll understand what this character actress margot martindale thing comes from but she's also a character actress and you've seen her in a million things end of the day tight 90 minutes you know what else are you gonna do I don't think it's going to be my favorite film of the year. I think I would temper your expectations a little bit. It's still a pretty decent like crime mystery suspense thing. Um, just suspend your disbelief for a bit. Ignore the accents and just go with it. So I'm going to give it 3.8 out of 5.